Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We're here at the Andrews Custom Leather, what do we call this? HQ, headquarters, Workshop. barracks. Okay. <laughs> Workshop, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing another How It's Made with Sam, and I figured it will be a good time to uh, do some Q&As. Absolutely. Right. Catch so, up on things. Absolutely. Yeah, and another thing that we're celebrating is that our first How It's Made video actually reached a million it's over a million views at this point yeah a million yeah one million <laughs> no, okay so <laughs> blows uh, my mind very awesome thanks to everyone out there who watches it and thanks to you of course for doing that as well as happy to yes as well as uh sponsoring the channel mm -hmm. so if you you guys probably see from time to time we have like a andrew's custom leather uh logo that goes up and you hear this sexy voice that's sam people that's like if we're gonna do faqs that's something that people ask me all the time right because they've been listening to that for years now oh yes and they're like wait a second is that the guy that makes the leather holsters <laughs> yeah so it is it is the guy Guilty. that makes the leather holsters absolutely yes. so thanks to everyone for the million views i think if you put all the videos we've done together we're probably close to or over two million views it's unbelievable yeah that's pretty awesome so we're going to probably dive in here to some uh, frequently asked questions mm -hmm. from folks out there. Where do you want to start? Uh, I know I know that uh, Anne suggested we talk about the big ball of leather. What's going on with that thing? Well, you've met Dominic, who works with me. Yes. Dominic does a great deal of the uh, trimming right. on the lining. So uh, just on a wild hair last summer, he took some pieces and wrapped them together. And then he just kept wrapping them together. Mm -hmm. When it was grapefruit size, we could play catch with it. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah. It's what does that weigh? A lot. <laughs> that yeah. is just one. It's a monster solid, ball. <laughs> solid ball. Yeah, it's it a beast. Keeps growing all yeah. the time. <laughs> I have no rational explanation for this. It's just one of those things it's, crazy leather people do. Yeah, <laughs> pretty soon that's going to be person size. It's going to have to get off yeah. a tabletop. It's starting to bow it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did a post about this. If you guys missed out on that, maybe next one, you'll get a chance to get some questions in. I think someone was asking when you started doing leather work, right. or making holsters, did you do it as a side hustle and you had a normal job? And I, and I know you've talked about this before. Right. Many people have heard already. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in police work and doing this on the side as a hobby. But, of course, everybody I worked with wanted something made or fixed or mm -hmm. modified. Mm -hmm. And after six years, I just decided holsters were a lot more fun. Right. So just transitioned into that. So how many years have you been uh, doing this professionally? Since 1981, oh. full-time business. Wow. Since 1975, I first took up You got leather. into it. Yeah. Right. I think the follow-up question to that was, how long did it take you, you know, from, from when you were doing it part-time right. and fixing stuff up for people to... to um, like, did you, what point did you get to where you're like, wait a second, I'm making enough money to quit my day job? Ah. And, and how did you know? How did you know? Was... Well, the problem was I didn't know, and mm -hmm. I leapt into it with both feet and lots mm -hmm. of enthusiasm and spent a couple of years as a starving artist. Mm -hmm. was pretty, mm -hmm. Back in the pre-internet days, it took a while for word to get out, for people to know about your stuff. And so it was thin times for a while. Mm -hmm. But eventually, and I did a lot of gun shows in those days, which mm -hmm. is how we got things seen, it started taking off on its own. Yeah. So I think when we met, you were, you were um, close, you were in Gainesville pretty much, or just out on the outside. A lot of it, just outside. Yeah, just outside right. of like, we were actually, you know, I'm still where I am, but we were about, I don't know, five, ten minutes apart Not at that time. Yeah, now you're in St. Augustine. Exactly. Um, now I make him drive a long way. Yeah, <laughs> which is nice. St. Augustine's great. <laughs> so um, do people come out here visiting you? <laughs> Occasionally. It's a loaded question. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> Occasionally people come by. We don't really have you know, a storefront or a public access type of shop. Mm -hmm. But still, some people, they make an appointment. They come around. Mm -hmm. We're always happy to see people. Right. 
Yeah, I think we were talking about it. That maybe at some point you can do like a um, open house or something. That like would be that. fun. And let folks come in, and sure. we'll have food, and you <laughs> are know, you, are drinks. you cooking? Uh, I, I don't know if anyone's going to want to eat my cooking, <laughs> but you know, I can, I can do a mean hot dog. <laughs> Boy, I can't <laughs> uh, wait. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get Lola to do some curry or something like that. But you know, maybe we can do something like that and Certainly, let folks that would come be out. Fun. Yeah, if you got, if fun. you're interested, let us know. You know, that's um, something that we could um, let people know and notify them. Someone asked about the, what do we call these again? Dummies or blanks? The Well, gun dummies, molding dummies. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of sources. The aluminum ones are made by Duncan Customs up in Bay City, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I've been buying from them for 30-some years. Mm -hmm. I've got well over 300 wow. in the okay. library. Yeah. And some of the guns aren't available in aluminum. From holstersmith.com, they represent a number of people who are making these, what would you call them, not polymer. Um, I guess it's, it's not rubber either. It, right? No, it's, it's it a hard rubber? material. Yeah. Resin. It's a hard plastic. Yeah, it's resin. A resin. Yeah. They work also. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be careful when you're using them. You can't hit these or, or mm -hmm. strike them the way you can the aluminum, mm -hmm. but they do a good job of the molding also. Okay, so are you limited to the ones you have the dummies for for making guns, right, or how I, does that work? I have to have a dummy of the gun to mm -hmm. mold and shape it, and sometimes people will offer to let me use their gun. Can't really do that. No, nope, it's if, FFL. Well, not only that. Okay. If you've seen some of our other videos where we're making things, mm -hmm. one of the molding steps is being squeezed in a 20-ton press. Yeah. This does bad things to real guns. Yeah, so not necessarily. Yeah, that's why we have to have the solid... A block yeah so how do you decide if you get a new one of these like maybe you get a certain amount of calls you're like oh this is real popular sometimes it's because of requests i've gotten other mm -hmm. times if a new gun comes out i just buy these automatically because mm -hmm. i want to be able to serve as wide a possible audience right okay and, you know if it's from a reputable company new model grab it people yeah. are going to want them Right, absolutely. Okay, so maybe while we're talking about that, we should get into other materials because mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of people that look at the video so that they could follow along. Right. Um, you know, so they want to know about materials and tools. Of course, we have we, we do have a video on this yes. that we've posted. You guys could go search for and look at it in in depth. But you know, if you could just tell people how do you get these materials, how do you get these tools, where do you get them from? Well. Tools come from a couple sources. There's always, and it's a great place for beginners, the Tandy Leather Company. They've been around for decades. They specialize in people just starting up. I still buy a lot of tools and hardware and buckles and all kinds of things mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. uh, Weaver Leather, great source. You can find them online, weaverleather.com. Lots of tools, lots of hardware. Mm -hmm. I buy most of my hides from Wicket and Craig Tannery in Pennsylvania and many also from the Hyde House in Napa, California. Mm -hmm. Both great sources of the skins. Yeah, I think someone was asking, I think while we were here, about um, getting their hands on this stuff outside of America, right? So that's outside kind of, of America. I don't know where to send them. Yeah, you have <laughs> to get someone in America. Here. Yeah, maybe you have to get someone in America to get it for you, you could. bring it out to you. I think one of the big things that I know that people are always asking is how to order. Like, oh. exactly how do they figure this out? It's, hmm. There's so many different options. We do have a video. I think maybe the first video that we did is about the skins. Right. Yeah. But, but So there's all these different skins, all these different holsters, all these different styles and things that you could do. Um, how exactly do they figure all that okay. out? Okay. My apologies to everybody because it is a bit confusing. <laughs> there's yeah. so many ways we can make things. Mm -hmm. First item is it's good if they know what type of holster they want. They can go to our catalog at andrewsleather.com. There's all the different holster designs. Mm -hmm. Now, most people are going to want it in regular leather, regular cowhide. Mm -hmm. And we also at andrewsleather.com have our exotic catalog where you can see the 18 different skins that we build things in. Okay. And the best way, once you've gotten these basics down, give us a call. We'll talk to you, walk you through the possibilities, answer any questions. It's just so much easier to deal directly with people. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, you can make notes or sure. they might be going in the wrong direction. Um, typically, how long do those conversa conversations go? Because I... It doesn't take very long to find out what people want. Mm -hmm. You start with, you know, what gun have you got? Very basic. Right, you need to know that first. <laughs> Where do you want to wear it? Shoulder, yeah. belt, cross draw. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take too many questions to narrow down. Okay. Typically, how long does it take? Because I think, I, I know you get some of these questions. And probably right now you're busy, right? I think everyone are, in the industry is kind of busy right we now. We're insanely busy at the moment. Right. Yes. So what kind of wait time are we looking at? And what can people do it, if they don't have a lot of time to wait? Sure. It depends on whether it's something that we're producing all the time mm -hmm. or if it's a total custom piece. Mm -hmm. And I keep swearing I'm going to revamp my catalog to be in two sections so people will know which is which. Right. <laughs> but... If it's a really popular common gun, Glock 1911 Sig Beretta, uh, for our most popular holsters, we try to keep those always in the pipeline. So mm -hmm. if they're not sitting there done, they're coming through. Mm -hmm. uh, really custom stuff like cowboy rigs, one-off odd types mm -hmm. of holsters or very unusual guns, mm -hmm. those can be months mm -hmm. getting done because we have to do that in between all the regular production. Yeah, and it can get complicated. Like, we did do a oh, video boy. on how to, like, how you guys go about carving leather. I think that's yeah, something well, Dom Dominic does. does the carving, yeah. and you know, right. that is very Lots of hours. Oh, <laughs> yes. Lots of hours in there. Okay, so just be patient. <laughs> just be patient. But you're still taking orders and stuff like oh, that. Certainly. Folks just need to know. Certainly. We're taking orders all the time. Okay. And we'll give a guesstimate of how long things mm -hmm. take. My crystal ball has been out of warranty for years. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm not a precise guesser. Okay, all right, cool. So how about we go into some other stuff that you make? Uh, some people know this. Some people are finding out you, you do some accessory stuff. So we've got like some grips here. You're still making the grips, right? Oh yes, we make the grips okay. all the time and mm -hmm. all of our different exotic skins. These are for 1911s. Okay, so you, the grips are only for 1911s? Pretty well 1911s okay. because these are nice flat panels with just a Easy little to arch do. to them. Mm -hmm. The problem with grips that are really, really shaped or wrap mm -hmm. around the back, you can't get the hide to lay down everywhere. Mm -hmm. It would wrinkle and pop up. Mm -hmm. so okay. So 1911s, you got some options there. Right. Okay. And then I've, I've, you've got hats. I know I have one of those hats you wear a that hat. I wear from That's time right. to time. Everyone's like, where did that come from? Yeah. So uh, are you still doing the hats? I still so make okay. the hats, mm -hmm. uh, mostly to request. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't come up a lot. Right, and the, ha and the hats are not super cheap. It's not No, no, like, they're not. Know, they're yeah. made out of expensive exotic materials. Yeah. Right, right. But it does make people stop and go, what's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, nice conversation starter. Sure. So if, if folks are looking for the hats, how do they get their hands on that? Or any of the other, the accessory stuff? Well, the, um, we have on our grips. online store all the grips that mm -hmm. are presently made mm -hmm. and available in many different skins. Mm -hmm. The hats we're putting on the online store, mm -hmm. just only have a few on hand, need to make a few more to get enough pictures. Right. Uh, I they, think you do belts, you, you, you're still oh, doing wallets and things oh, like yes, that? Oh yes, little, okay. little money, card holders, wallets. Right. Yeah. And all of that you can see on the catalog at andrewsleather.com. Right. At some point, we're going to do a belt video. <laughs> at some point, I think. Yeah, we'll yeah. get there. Yeah, that's coming in the future. Um, okay, so down that aisle, I think someone was asking about bullet belts. Oh, and, bullet uh, loops. Yeah, bullet loops. Right. Yeah, and so what calibers? I think right. someone wanted to know sure. about 357, I think, and also 22. Mm -hmm. So do you go all the way down to uh, 22? How does that? We can. Uh, okay. When we do the cowboy belts with the bullet loops mm -hmm. on them, mm -hmm. I've made them in just about every imaginable caliber. All mm -hmm. I need is an empty case to mold the loop with. Mm -hmm. 22s are not practical because there's so little bullet to get a hold of. Getting them in and out of those loops and trying to get a hold of the rim, <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah. You won't enjoy it. Right. But and you have done it. Though, I've done right? it. I've, I've yeah. done a lot of things. Uh, reluctantly, it looks like. <laughs> it may not be the smartest. <laughs> right. <but. laughs> yeah. If it's tough for people to get them out of there, it's probably tough for you to make yeah. it. A big bullet, 357, 38, mm -hmm. 45s, no problem at all. Easy mm -hmm. to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Look good in the belt. The 22s mm -hmm. kind of look lost. You have this great big wide belt with these little bullets about that big on it. And just mm -hmm. It's not proportional. I know people ask me, like, what kind of guns is Sam Andrews into? They always ask me that. Oh. So 
Um, I don't know if that's something you want to talk well, about. We, we've yeah. talked about that in one of our first videos, mm -hmm. like 1911 fanatic, Ni 19 carry it every day. So you don't carry a Glock? No. no. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 all Glock There's carriers. lots of people out there that are happy to hear that, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I have nothing <laughs> against Glocks, I just yeah. really like my 1911. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's just my all-the-time companion. Like, so for example, when you did um, the movie... Um, what was it, Magnificent Seven? Right. We did that movie. Some of those guns in that movie were your oh, guns, just, and we've talked about that. Right, yeah. just Chris Pratt's gun from the card trick scene, right. the little Webley Bulldog, okay. came from my collection. So that stuff you collect, you, you right. collect the I, British I collect guns? British Empire period weapons, okay. about 1700s through World War II. Mm -hmm. And boy, we have a lot of Adams and Webleys and Tranters and yeah. very, very strange. Yeah. Is that guns. from like a previous life or something like that? that you used to be. I always tell people you used to be an old uh, British major general <laughs> or something like that, or sergeant well, major. Or something. I have to go on and say harumph. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Not, why are you into those? Why, not I mean, it's, it's to cool. my it's knowledge. Cool. Yeah. You know, if, mm -hmm. if I previously served, the the <laughs> records didn't follow me, so I can't yeah. say. Okay. We don't. You don't know about reincarn <laughs> reincarnation at this Nothing point. Nothing can be proved. Right. Okay. Okay. Fine. So I, I think like my last question would be. How do people get in touch with you? Exactly what do they need to do in order to speak to you and make an order? Well, it's as easy as can be. Just phone us for inquiries or to make orders. Again, you can see the catalog online, andrewsleather.com. You can mm -hmm. give us a call at the shop, 904-679-4997. I or Anne will answer. We'll take care of your questions. We'll find out exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. If it's something I can't help you with, I'll tell you. But yeah. there's things we just can't build. Okay. For I instance, people put lights on guns oh, a lot lights, now. Yeah. We can't do holsters for guns that have a light that on it. Lights, Sorry. Yeah. And I think people ask about knives a lot. I think you do do some um, we sheaths only, for knives. We right? only make three sheaths that go right. on our shoulder holster rigs mm -hmm. for the little Smith & Wesson dagger, the mini K-bar, and the Tanto. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty well the only sheaths we do. Okay. I can recommend custom sheath makers if mm -hmm. people need them. Mm -hmm. We just don't have time to do sheaths in addition to everything else. Okay. And social media, um, what social media are you guys on? And then on those social media, because, you know, a lot of people like to ask questions and stuff right. like that on social media sure. nowadays. Sure. And what I think that everyone doesn't realize is that you, because folks think you're going to get a faster response from social media, <laughs> or maybe they even try to order. So how does that go down? And, you know, do you guys answer questions there? Do you take orders there? I'm assuming no. No. Okay. So what social media are you on? Well, we have a Facebook page okay. and we're on Instagram, but we only check the messages every once in a while. We mm -hmm. just, we don't have time to be sitting there all the time on social mm -hmm. media. I've got to make things. Yeah. So we will answer those questions when we come across them. It might take a while. Emails are answered more quickly. Uh, phoning up is still the quickest way to get a question answered. Yeah, and I think you guys have a YouTube channel that you started. We do. You helped wanna... us get it started. Absolutely. So we should invite everyone to go. <laughs> do we right. know what the name of this YouTube channel it's is? Andrew's Leather. Okay, there you go. Andrew's Leather. That's that's it. <laughs> we'll try to put a link or something in here. Sounds good. Yeah, because I, I invite everyone to go over there and subscribe to Andrew's Leather. Um, that's a good way because you're gonna do you're gonna do some unique videos. You might right. see like some of the videos yeah. that we're doing. We've up there shared as well. a lot of videos. Yeah, but I know you're gonna do some we're, some we're unique stuff. We're starting to do yeah. some things on our own as well. Yeah, absolutely. So go check that out. Anything else? What am I missing? I think we yeah. covered it. I think that's it. That I think that's good. it. Are we good, Lola? Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, thanks to everyone for watching. Make sure that you do go over there and subscribe to Andrew's Leather. Of course, subscribe here to the channel. Thumbs ups. Uh, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we go live. For me, if you want to support the Hank Strange situation over here, go to HankStrange.com. Um, you can figure out how to sign up for our email list, see all the other places that you can go to to support us. But we are giving away stuff if you're subscribed oh, yes. to our email list all the time, including uh, hosters. Hosters, we've got it. From, yeah, from Sam, we've got, we've got a thing going on right now, and we'll probably do more as we Absolutely go forward. Absolutely, we will. Awesome, so thanks so much. I'm gonna do the fist bumps. <laughs> Handshakes are out, man. They're banned <laughs> from now on. They're illegal. You have to get a special license in order to do handshakes, I guess. Well, we have to do these six foot away wave. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I know. All right, so we're out of here, guys. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.